Greetings from London. Murray Gunn here. Do you struggle to identify waves? If so, you are not alone. The existence of alternate wave counts means that we can never be 100% certain of the structure. But we can come close to that by taking account of wave characteristics. Let me take two minutes of your time to guide you through a current example from Europe, which might be giving us a very important message. Elliott waves are driven by human herding behaviour, and the psychological characteristics of waves is very useful to keep in mind. So we know, for instance, that second wave retracements in a bullish advance are often deep because psychology is still dominated by the old bear. The news flow is still relatively bearish, and people still think the market will continue declining. By the same token, we also know that fourth wave retracements in a bullish advance are often shallow because psychology is dominated by the impatience of buyers. The news is now bullish and people are falling over themselves to get into the market. Being aware of these traits can help us identify waves. This chart shows the Stocks Europe 600 index up to the start of October this year. One particular wave count we were considering at that time was that intermediate degree wave A had topped in April and wave B had bottomed in August. This count was then anticipating an advance in wave C. There's a clear five wave advance into October the 1st, which we can label minor degree wave 1, followed by a sharp decline. That decline stopped just short of the 0.618 retracement of wave 1, and so, being a deep retracement, fits with a psychology of second waves. From that low, there was another five wave advance into the 19th of November, followed by another retracement. Now, this correction retraced a Fibonacci ratio of 0.236 of wave three before the market rallied again. And that shallow retracement is a characteristic of fourth waves. At this juncture, therefore, we can label that low as minor degree wave four. So what we have here is an advance from August with a deep retracement in wave two and a shallow retracement in wave four. That's a really good clue that the overall advance could be almost the entirety of intermediate degree wave C. And if that is correct, Europe is approaching a very critical juncture indeed. Well, this example shows how we can use wave characteristics in order to help us identify the wave structure. The next few weeks could be absolutely crucial for stock markets. So stay tuned to keep one step ahead of the herd.